so the next important concept is direct stress so what is direct stress so if the load is acting at centroid of section then such load is called as it is called as direct load okay so if the load is direct load if load is direct load that means it is acting at the centroid of the section then stress produced stress produced in the member in the member is called direct stress in the previous classes we have seen what is direct load and eccentric load so if the load is direct load that is it is acting at the centroid of the section then the stress produced in the member will be called as direct stress so now the next point is direct stress is denoted by okay it is denoted by a symbol sigma zero okay so it is denoted by sigma zero it is also called as sigma naught okay you can use any of this now what is the formula for direct stress we will write here direct stress is equal to direct load divided by area of section direct load divided by area of section so this is our vertical compressive member this is the section so the column here is a rectangular column centroid and this axis is centroidal axis so now if the load is present if the load is present or it is acting at the centroid okay it is acting exactly at the centroid that means it is a direct load and if the load is direct load then the stress produced in this member okay that will be direct stress now how to represent direct stress direct stress variation so the direct stress is represented like this so this is the zero line and the value here is sigma not this distance is sigma not direct stress variation so you can see now direct stress variation is constant throughout the member so this variation is constant it is not changing so now if we take this dimension as b and this dimension as d and let's give the load name p so what will be the direct stress direct load is p and area of section what is the area here area is length into breadth 
that is B into T. So P by BD, this will give the value of direct stress. Now what is the unit? What is the SI unit? SI unit of direct stress. SI unit of direct stress is Newton per meter square. So we will also write the sign conventions which we will be following. So the sign conventions will be we will take the compression as positive. and tension will be negative. Okay, so this is everything about direct stress. So you just have to understand two important points from here. The first point is how direct stress is produced. Okay, so direct stress is produced when the load acting is a direct load or a concentric load, not eccentric load. Okay, the variation is constant throughout the section and the formula for direct stress is load divided by area of cross section. 